Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Afternoon, evening, etc. You know the drill. It's gonna say his latest spire. Hades, we won the last run. Standard stuff out of the way here. Skip ahead if you want to see combat. Watch it on a faster speed if it's an hour plus. Heads up, it's probably gonna be an hour plus. Videos aren't for kids. Let's go, dude. Uh, Aphelios? <laughs> Not wrong. Wrong game. Orpheus. Orfeo, whatever you want to call him. He's jamming out over there. And Hypno has something to say for once. I can't believe it. Oh, hi. Um, welcome home again. Go right ahead. I think your father's mad about something or other, though. He usually is. Yeah. I didn't think you had it in you, boy. Tired of me dusting you yet? Welcome home, boy. You're late for dinner. For breakfast or mm. whatever blasted meals next. Oh, geez. The boom is not in, like, the perfect position. It's... And it's a bothering me a great deal. There we go. All right. That's all right, Father. I'm not feeling very hungry at the moment. I've asked repeatedly for the construction of a sundial, but every time they tell me no, can you believe it? Your impertinence with me inspires all. Hell yeah, brother. All right. No, uh, the name's dawning on me, and the dude singing in my right ear right now is not helping me with my uh, thought process. A little bit of a scatterbrain. I'm surprised I'm actually doing this as early as I am. Dude, you're so loud. <laughs> are a little steep there, I must say. Uh, we're just going to do a little bit of radio sounds while we get through the opening piece here, and then I'll probably share some of my thoughts here. I come to you bearing aquatic beasts. Oh, yeah. I'm That's the ticket. He gifted Dusa. Sure, you want me to have this? Yes. I really am, Dusa. I hope you enjoy it. Um, Miss Dusa, I ran into hostile gorgons that resembled you out there in Asphodel. Resembled only in the vaguest sense, I mean. They lacked your charm or social graces anyway. I just hope you are not related since I sort of, you know. Oh, <laughs> those old things? They're relatives just in the loosest sense. Like, mm -hmm. say you had some nasty, almost mindless siblings born entirely from your own blood. Wow, this like is a real polite way to say you hate your family. How hard it was to get a steady job because of them. Relatable. So Not. I, to continue hacking down I actually don't know my extended community. family. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Thanks for asking. Yep. What's Interesting bit of insight there. What do we got? Titan's blood. Ooh, Titan's blood for keys? Hold up. That's a that's a trade I'm actually willing to do. For. I'm gonna sack a lot of keys for this, but so be it, dude. That's a trade. Also, we can just sack gems for keys because we got so many of them. Extra keys. There, we'll set out ten just in case we want to trade up for something. Titan's blood is always gonna be a goal for me, and that's plus three, baby. Plus three Titan's blood. Nix. Do not let circumstances rattle your resolve, child. Thank you. Really wish we'd have some more lore to discuss here, but everyone's getting, you know, tighter on what they want to discuss with me. Let's see here. Yo, Skelly, let's give it to him. You rescued me from an eternity of not getting to sing, my friend. He's jamming. All right, yeah, so it, it's been a it's been a bit of a day here. Oh my god, there's just so much stuff to do. I just want to talk about, you know, butts in the world and like not the things that stress me out in the world. There's a lot of things that do it. You know, I'm immediately going to stay right here. Uh, today, not that bad, even though I had to deal with a handful of, like, really, really dumb people. <laughs> in in the polite way, but, like, Definitely I, you know, hey, this person's an idiot. But in the polite way, of course, no. Like, long and short, my friends, if your family has any form of retirement and you're not familiar with it, I strongly recommend that you, uh... <laughs> You speak to them about it so you don't wind up in a situation like a handful of my clients tend to or tend not to find themselves in and then they get pissed. It's like, hey, you know, you should probably like do some reading and not get mad at other people because, you know, you're a, a dingleberry. Am I projecting? Just a little. Is that even the right word? Projecting? Am I discussing my day? I guess that's the proper way to say it. Yeah, no, totally. Okay, yeah, these guys don't really have anything important to say. I just want, like, someone to give me something, because, like, we're so close. We're so close to, like, anyone giving me one of these, what I assume is going to be, like, a like an extra keepsake down here, but... Hmm. We're almost done with the, uh, Myrmidon Bracer as well. It's going to be our last run throwing that out there. It's bow time. I'm fairly certain we haven't gotten the George with it, that is correct. More heat level zero coming at you fresh. Do you want to spend some blood on this? Your cast loads your... 
Wait, hang on. Your cast loads a blink into your next attack. Ooh. Fire on impact. Oh, I don't have it unlocked. That's gonna cost me two blood. Hmm, I don't know. Flat 4% crit chance. Max shots per special shot. But they automatically seek? That's pretty good. I just, I hate the bow because I have to like, gotta land this and I'm not good at it. What if I beg for mercy, huh? Okay. Let's run with it. Heat zero. Send it. Well, so my day today overall pretty good. I'm excited. Tomorrow's my half day. We're getting to the actual meat and potatoes video. It's a half day. I'm doing it for a handful of reasons. One reason is a individual politician. Doesn't matter who it is, but like anytime there's a politician that's coming into Las Vegas. Uh, traffic gets really fucky. Like really, really fucky. <laughs> Like, just unbelievably so. And, you know, the higher caliber of the individual... I'm sorry, I'm talking over yours. The higher caliber of the, uh, caliber, caliber of the individual, the worse traffic is going to be. So, in my experience, uh, just get me home and, you know, banish me in the light of day because they're not going to be out there when they close down the freaking 15, the 215, the 16, the 17, the 8. It's just terrible. All kinds of bad. Um, your attacks inflict doom. Good enough. This means war. Like, I'm not joking one night. Like, I left my friend's house at, like, 2 a.m., and they had shut down the entirety of, like, the lava... The lava? <laughs> the Las Vegas freeway. And it took me two and a half hours at 2 a.m. to get home. Just goddamn ridiculous. I've never had a situation where I'm, like, passing out of my car, like, extensively like that in a long time. Mostly because I take caffeine pills now. Not a, you know, endorsement, because, you know, do what's best for you and your health and your heart, but, like... Caffeine pills, man. Those things have saved my life. I remember, like, when I initially started taking them, I was doing, like, a whole bit on it. It's like, oh, you know, it's gonna stop my heart earlier. Nah, dude. Keeps my heart going because I'm not gonna get any car accidents because I'm actually awake at the wheel. Team, you should just get more sleep. You're not wrong, but, like... <laughs> there's reasons behind that as well. And a large part of it is, like, I need to entertain myself to, like, a certain level before I go to bed and wake up for another dreary day at work. It's the truth. It's the truth. You gotta maximize that fun sometimes. And, you know, to be fair, I probably need to tone down some of the... I don't want to say tone down some of the fun, but like definitely take a little bit more responsibility and start doing more adult stuff. I'm not saying literally when I come home, I'm sitting here like playing video games for eight hours. Like that hasn't happened in a long time. Like that, that'd be a rarity. That's like a young 18 year old spring chicken Tim right there. Not my life anymore, nor do I want it to be like just you can't just play video games all your life and be like, ah, yes, this is exactly what I wish to do. No, you guys, sometimes it's, it's beneficial to get out there and like do some chores, you know? I'm not saying, oh, you know, spend your weekend washing dishes, but you know, if you see the kitchen's a little dirty, clean it up a bit. Clean it up a bit. Wouldn't you were my son instead of he, but... Oh, hi, Jess, hi, Jeff. You got some errands to run? You can put them off for a few weeks. Take care of it now. You haven't seen your family, your grandma, or grandpa, and then go see them, if able, or call them. That's, you know, I'll be honest, on the ladder there, I probably should be doing more of that, but, like... I hit a threshold when it comes to, like, not speaking to my grandparents that I'm like, you know, I haven't done it in forever. If I just do it out of the blue, am I just, like, a shallow individual? Or am I shallow for not doing it? I don't know. I'm not gonna project on, like, my inner thoughts of, like, oh, am I a bad nephew or, or grandson and not nephew? Bad nephew as well. Uh, because I am. Uh, after you take damage, your foes start by like, eh, sure, we'll take it because it's epic. I'm, I don't mean it sounds, like, downtrodden here, because, like, I'm actually doing pretty good given, like, the upcoming weekend that's gonna be here, which there's actually some events going on. Just, you know, anytime I think about my grandparents, I'm like, yeah, I know I'm a bad grandson. I should be better. It's interesting. I don't think I've ever mentioned it, like, to a great extent, but, like, my family in Vegas is not so much the black sheep of, like, my dad's side of the family, per se, but it definitely, we're a little isolated, also because, like, you know, I'm not trying to, like, point fingers, but, like, one side of the family might be more diverse than the other. Most of my dad's family being, you know, just generic white individuals from South Dakota. This is not me, like, targeting anyway. I'm just saying, like... It's a very mono, monocultural type of group, and then I look at like my mother and my side of the family, and I'm like, yeah, we got a little bit of diversity going on here, and things are quite different, and maybe because of that, some people may or may not talk to us, but anyway. This weekend, let's talk about something positive here. This weekend is going to be, uh, what is it? I forget the name. There's an event going on in Anaheim. Anaheim? Uh, Anaheim. Uh, I, f I truly can't believe I'm like I'm blanking on the name right now, but uh, two of my friends have been going there to play the uh, playing the Smash tournaments going on. Very excited to watch them, you know. Hopefully get streamed on pools and you know potentially get knocked out by <laughs> actual professional players. But I'm out there cheerleading for them nonetheless. I think it's going to be a good time. There's a variety of like good e events and games that are going to be going on in Anaheim. Now, part of me is like, did I wish I could kind of go? Not really. Like the idea of going to California to any extent, even for like future employment, just Makes me sick to my stomach with the costs and the thought of the costs. 
shook it. This well, it would have been nice. Would have been nice. Shook. Again, it's not. Again, I, everything I'm saying right now, I'm sounding like super defensive. Like I don't mean like this guy is not really, but you know, it's not like that. It's more so. It's like yeah, it would have been cool to actually get out of Vegas for a minute. So we got a lot of things we've never touched here. Old attack to rapidly shoot, but you cannot power shot. Music to my freaking ears, dude. This that's what I need. I don't have to worry about power shotting if I don't have the ability itself. That's fantastic. What else we got going on this weekend? I don't know. Might do some streams. I've been saying that for like months now. Like legit months. Hey, why do I stop attacking? After I dash, I stop attacking. That's a... Uh... If I could give some feedback, I think there'd be a nice little UI improvement there. Let me just keep my attacks going. I know it's because the uh, air quote dash attack, but like... Just, just keep it running. Because like, it looks very awkward when I stop attacking there. It's like, oh, Tim, did you forget how to play the game? Nah, dude, the game stopping me from attacking. Dude. It's very scatterbrained right now. I'm surprised I'm doing this as early. I thought I'd have some more bits prepared, but really my thoughts are bouncing all over the place. There are some things that have got me like a little anxious, and those get more political than I care to get involved on like a video game YouTube channel. Like, let's just be real. If you want anything political, just hop on Twitter. Like, there you'll get your load of anxiety <laughs> and your dose of like, oh, stepping on traps. And the anxiety or dose or whatever side you're for. I really try and avoid it. Like, I'm just sitting here trying to find, like, the good in Twitter right now, and that consists of, you know, purely Animal Crossing memes, and, you know... If you're not a fan of Animal Crossing memes, and you don't get mad at, you know, political memes, you've already lost twice. There you go, I've done it. I've made a bit. If you don't get that bit, then... Just, just Google, like, a few words I said there. You'll understand the rest. That's uh, Ares is the lack of subtlety. Athena is the strategic god of war. That's her bit. Uh, well, you have no cast, you take less 10% less damage, you deal more bonus damage. This is a crystal beam at epic level. I think we're going to go for that. That seems quite nice. And yeah, you know, we don't have a lot of money, but this is enough to buy us a potential boon. If we don't get something here, though, we're going to be on the back burner. And immediately you're giving the offer for a pomegranate. I will accept. Beam damage going up. Cast, say with me, everybody. They are broken. If you are not upgrading your casts, you got a problem. And this pomegranate is going straight to the cast if I can get it. Particularly this one. I think people have had, like, mixed feelings on this one when it first came out. I'm gonna be honest with you, this one slaps. This one absolutely slaps. If you don't take it, come on. I mean, obviously, if you have, like, pocket sand that, you know, tier 3, avoid taking it. But this is, like, probably the best cast in the game, like, full stop. It tracks, it does damage over time, a few upgrades really cranks it up there, you know, it's good. It's good. Just like this matter-of-fact dialogue. What do we got here? Doom up. Cast up or vengeance. I, I'll be honest, getting that minor of an increase does suck, but if we stack it up, it's incremental gains. It's your retirement account in full. I'm gonna skip the max HP, also get some more nectar for uh, future investments. One and two and three and go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see what I'm talking about here? It's pretty good. We definitely got the lineup that makes it a lot better. Ooh, we thought he was gonna slap me. I don't think so, Chief. Let me just yoink these real quick. One and two and three and shoot. There it is. That's the ticket. These little Doom Skull things miss me with that. Yo, Doom's coming out. That's like a poll I should ask, like, just everyone in general. Should I play Doom Eternal if I haven't played the uh, previous Doom? I don't know. I think I'm missing out. And I'm also not the biggest Doom fan. I know everyone's, like, going crazy for it, and also there's, like, some Animal Crossing memes intertwined with Doom Eternal as well, with the Doom Eternal Twitter asking for Isabel, which is kind of cute, but <laughs> it's a little silly. Oh. I'll keep up a lot of games. Doom's the kind of game that I never really got too invested in as a child anyway. Didn't have a family computer I could play on at a young age. You hear me, Oh, sorry. We gotta, we gotta deal with Thanos here. Uh, like, the extent of, like, my family computer, which was, like, a Gateway 2000 way, way, way back in the day. And if you remember Gateway, then I'm sorry. The fact that companies can even get away with producing such a garbage piece of hardware is, uh... Insulting. It's insulting. But, you know, you get what you pay for for the times. Actually, think about it, it was a Gateway, Gateway 2000, and then what did we get after that? My dad was, like, a big fan of buying, like, store-bought computers, which is why I never had a, a gaming PC. Oh, Jesus. Until I bought one myself with some, like... I, I don't want to say restitution money, that doesn't seem right, but, like... The government gave me money for a handful of events that may or may not have occurred in my life. Which is nice. And then I instantly blew it all on a store-bought PC. Don't do it, kids. Trust me. Save up your money. Find someone that knows computer, or go to like a pick apart builder and like, you know, pay them the $100, $200 fee to do it, and the shipping is fine. There's no shame in that. Anyone that heckles you about building a computer and then, you know, you're paying someone to do it, dude, 
that's with the look. Next time they go to get their oil change, why don't you just add them and say, hey, uh, idiot, why don't you just, you know, fill up your oil yourself? Just get like a basin and, you know, lift your car up and, mm, uh, but actually, no, no, there's nobody actually. You can pay someone to build a computer, you can pay someone to change your oil. You can pay someone to paint your house, you can pay someone to clean your house. Pay someone to do your garden. Don't add anybody for the computer building thing. This is just extremely elitist. And I hate it. There's also no shame in it. Who has the time? You know, certain individuals, but who has the time to actually go out of their way and be like, you know, min-max each piece that they can buy, and then of course the cost on top of it. To each their own, I suppose. Again, more scattered brain thoughts. Hey, uh, here you go. Have this. Lady Artemis, I am indebted to you for the strength and cunning you have given me. Oops, Zacharias, I don't know what to say except for the thanks. Typical millennial doesn't know how to accept a gift. Hey, how did you get your hands on a nice bow like that? You take good care of Coronat for me, so I can try it too once you're up here. Mm -hmm. Is that how you pronounce that, by the way? Would have never known. Dash Drag deals more damage. It's actually quite good. I'm going to take the cast, though, just so we have something on the table. Also, I missed catching that fish on a prior room. I, I apologize deeply. I know the comments are going to be furious about me missing that one. Also, it's everyone's favorite. You're not just Tiffany. You both are green. What do you say? You've kept this girl waiting long enough. This actual dialogue? Oh I my god. You calling me red blood. You're making me rather self-conscious about it, you know? <laughs> You're funny. But you'll break. They always do. Oh, I was gonna say, what'd she hit me with? I thought I was safe. She's getting angry. Okay. Cast it up. We are completely crushing her right now. Very small call. Keep him coming. Cast it up. She's getting mad. All right. Haven't been using our Q a bunch on this run. No real need to. Huh? Oh. Stun yourself. You cast. You blap. Oh yeah, yeah, la la, shala. And she's dead. All right, heat level zero really has nothing to like really get me stressed over. So I'm getting the alalas because I wanted to. I don't know. I feel a little off right now. I thought I was gonna come into this swinging, but like nice. the banter and the dialogue is just all over the place. It's just one of those days. For some reason, there's something like I want to say it's only political's got me anxious, but like it really isn't. Like just just like that w feeling in the back of your like head. It's like little, something's not right in the universe. Maybe Saturn's not lining up properly with his discs right now, and it's you know throwing me for a loop. So a Chaos Gate, I think a Chaos Run would actually ruin me if I get, like, penalties to auto attacks. That'll absolutely ruin me. Getting some more cast action, however, would be nice. Let's throw it up there, see what the universe has. It's 40 gold at the end of the day, so. Going up. Not send ourselves back too far. And it's only been, what, 20 minutes? Did we really take, like, 10 minutes on the intro for this thing? I feel like that first floor was, like, a solid 5 minutes. Easy breezy. Okay. Max HP, I sleep. Chaos. Real shit. I also feel like I say that every time now. Oy, oy, oy. Son of Hades. Let me welcome your return here to my space within the underworld. And bid you choose an alteration to the fabric of reality. You cannot collect cast afterwards your special does damage. More damage, better boon chance. You cannot collect this, but your dash strike deals more damage. Let's go with the boon rarity upgrade, that's fine. And let's go for some max HP from the purple drain crystals, because that's also quite fine. So what was the penalty for this? I already forgot. Just more damage? Can't take damage if I, uh... Or, you know... It, it doesn't hurt me if I don't take damage, should I say. Brain, work with me, dude. What's going on? I, am, am I hungry? Is that the case? Is that the excuse I'm going with? I mean, I haven't eaten that much today. I know I think about it, I've had like maybe like two eggs and some oatmeal for breakfast, and that's like the extent of my meal. So maybe that's why. Well, on the you know the glycogen deposits, if I'm using the word right. I don't know science shit, so I'm assuming that sounds like sciencey and formal. So yeah, the glycogen deposits are low. You know the uh, the left cortex of my brain isn't getting enough sugar, so I can't properly form a coherent bit or sentence. You know, there's a part of your brain you use for like thinking, critical analysis, painting, and there's a part of your brain you use for bits. My bit brain, in bits. Oh, we gotta go for Eurydice, by the way, unless. Oh, hold the phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. We almost skipped on this. I don't think so, Bobby. Let's make this quick. Right. Again, the uh, the dash cast canceling my uh, auto attacks. Do hate it. 
because it's a, it's extremely jarring. I'm not lying. I knew what I did. I saw it. I willingly chose that. No, I didn't. I didn't even see it. Uh, it, it what was I saying? Yeah, it's really jarring when, uh, you know, your character just stops attacking because you did a dash. Like, they're just, just give that a UI update. Not even UI, just give it a quality of life update. It doesn't need to be like that. It doesn't need to be like that. The extra money's good. We're still gonna go see your to see. Get some value out of this one. Now I'll take the, uh, rarity boon upgrade because I've been burned by that before. Let's just take the pomegranate piece. Mm. Okay. You know, I've never met a nymph before. Excuse me? Closer to the gods than mortals, right? Yeah, gods that can die. How is that fair? It was just a stupid snake bite in my case. Oh, Can yeah. you imagine something more embarrassing? You're just minding your business, and then snap, you're dead and on your way down here. I know the feeling better than you might expect. Dude, that's like a very real common right there. You could be just living your life and all of a sudden, like, just dead. Nuclear wiener or, you know, car accident or otherwise. Sooner or later. Might as well while I'm still looking good. Though, I guess you do kind of get to lock in whatever age when you register. Bet everybody dying of old age pushed that one through. If that's how it really works, then, you know, silver lining, I suppose. Uh, let's go for... Let's go for the rarity upgrade. Any of these getting rarity upgrades would be nice. Ho ho ho, Merry Critinal. Feeling better already. The revenge damage is going to be good. The Curse of Agony getting aimed up to epic quality, quite nice. Listen, I, I know I'm saying words in like a very funny like tone or like well, enunciation yeah. right now. Bear with me here. Also, it's like extremely hot in my room. Give me a second. Take off his jacket. The man's not hot. Turn on the fan. There we go. I guarantee you in like five minutes gonna be sprawling over there to turn off the fan. All right, where were we? Mini boss fight? I accept. Get absolutely blasted, and then you're next. Load them up. Ooh, you're slow. Alright. Alright, don't even bother with the cast. You cannot line them up in time. Stagger them, and dust them. Yo! Alright. Cast is stronger and tracks foes more effectively. And it does more damage. That's like the big piece right there. Or after you hit with an attack cast or special fire heat seeking arrow. Both really good. I'm going to take the duo and God, it's already freaking freezing in here. <laughs> it's still technically winter and I'm turning on the fan. I mean, we just could have taken off the jacket and that would have been a happy medium. All right, you see, like I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. I don't need the fan. Screw myself over here. P apologies for the chair creaking and cranking. What do we got? Forget that dual upgrade is actually insane. Like it, it does not just say it's gonna cast more effectively. It fucking locks onto their ass. Like, look at him. Look at him. He doesn't even get to play the game. He's dead. Had I not been going slow and trying to think of bits for this run, we could probably speedrun this at this point. We are absolutely slapping. Perfect. God's grant me strength. More beam damage? You already know it. If I accept this gift. Listening for the ding. I did not hear any ding. Doesn't mean there's no fish out here though. Nothing there. Nothing there. Purple drank or crystals? You already know the answer. It's gonna be the purple drank. Send them. Dun, 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 dun. Look who. It's the ticket. This is good, you know, even though, oh, he hit me. Even though, you know, we got nothing uh, nothing crazy to talk about, no bits to go on. I could uh, rant on about driving if you guys want, because when it comes to driving in Las Vegas, especially on the 215, it's like, take your pick. You can either get pulled over by a police car, or you can potentially get short-stopped or a freaking, you know, into a fucking road rage street battle at 5 a.m. because someone's like, mm, you're going 85 in the uh, 65 mile an hour speed limit zone. 
How dare you, heathen? Don't you know I have places to be? Let me just speed in front of you and skirt. Oh. And you dare try and contest them. It's it's actually me throwing my life away is what that would amount to. But some days I'm like, you know what? Just, just fucking do it. You want to battle me in the streets right now? Go ahead. And the other days where you're trying to go like a little faster just to like be a little curious and the police pull you over. Haven't really had that situation. Like that one time I mentioned like I think a year and a half ago where I almost got pulled over and I quite literally just scooted to the side and let the cop go by me. That's the closest I've ever had to actually getting pulled over. Outside of that, we're good. Yo! Time to pick up the pace. <laughs> Let's go. This is getting pretty good. This is getting pretty good. If we can get that Artemis bonus for, you know, heat seeking arrows for each hit that I uh, make, Bone Hydra. we're in a good How spot. We never talk? Load him up. Look at that HP bar just melt. Are you kidding me? Yo, the damage is insane. Praise be this fucking rapid fire ability it is so good. Why worry yourself with the uh, perfect shot if you never have to do a perfect shot to save your life? Bit interesting on the phrasing there. And we're in like the perfect distance, dude. Like equilibrium distance right now. He wants to hurt me, but he cannot. Load him up. I think one will be enough. Excellent. Send him. Cast it. Cast it all. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're done. Prep this guy. Walk the column with the bullets. Good, good. Dash over to this dingleberry. Okay, don't get hit by their cheap shot. We got one cheap shot that they can smack you with. Don't be the victim. Excellent. All right, all right, all right. Blast. Dare I say, I think this was a perfect Hydra fight. I don't think I hit once. Like, absolutely flawless. They should give me a whole god blood for that. Any more heads you'd like chopped off? No, no need. Let's send it. Cruising just fine. Where are we at? Whenever I play this game, I always double check what time I'm at because it's, uh, it's a commitment to play a game of Hades. If you're trying to like do yeah. some sort of entertainment or like speaking over, otherwise just turn off your brain and play. Not what we do around here. Give me that boon upgrade. There is a game. If, if you guys want a game recommendation, it's something I bought years ago and have only recently started playing with one of my friends, uh, B Ron. Codename B Ron. Uh, it's a game called Astroneer. That game is. And you might argue it hardly could be considered a game given some of the content in it. This is a lot more than it was when I initially bought it. That game's chill, though. Freaking neon-colored space planets, Another just day, scooping up dirt with your ray gun or your, you know, terrain tool. Collecting some avocados, researching. You just chill out. You just, sorry, you vibe out. You just vibing, bro. Gotta make sure I'm staying hip with the millennials. Including myself. <laughs> I think it's another thing I've talked about before, mostly because, like, you know, it depends on what you Google or who you ask. But, like, the term millennial and, like, the actual age demographic it entitles, or entitles, um, is catered towards or actually is even referencing, it ranges. Because, like, I see the word millennial, I'm like, okay, that's someone born in the 90s. Gen Zer, also born in the 90s. Gen Wire, 90s. Okay, which is it then? What's a millennial? Is it someone born in the 90s or it's someone, like, you know, just complains when they don't get paid enough for their job? I don't know. I feel like the Gen Zers, Gen Yers, and any generation has probably talked about that before. Tell me the people born in the 1800s working in the coal mines are millennials. Didn't think so. Anyway, we're going somewhere with this? Nah, dude. It's just terminology for millennial. What does it mean? It doesn't mean shit. It doesn't mean shit. Alright. Let's get some Skrilla. Max HP, I sleep. Mad Skrilla. Real shit. There it is. And just, just the, you know, pure breeze I'm having right now, up until I fight a shield lord, I think, on this floor. It brings a smile to the office worker's heart. Can you not, uh, you know, play this fucking hokey pokey thing with me here? Appreciate it a great deal. Load him up. Oh, you know, you got the right target choice. Kill this. Very good target selection. Arrows be damned. We will kill the crimson butterfly first and foremost. Everything else is secondary. I'll just take that. Good money. That'll actually speed us up a little bit more. Sure. I'll spend some money to 
end this video a little quicker. <laughs> it's a very rude way to say it. I'll, I'll spend some money doing it to slog along on the uh, shield floor fights. Also, this is instantly going to pay dividends right here. It's good hit, good hit. Can't be mad. Still going to be mad because there was like 11 fucking damage, but still. Without the Mimiron bracelet, that would have been like 20 something. Can you get dusted, please? I have money riding on this. Thank you very much. You waste my time. 117, that's solid. We paid for our attack speed boon for that. I don't know. I already got something good out of Hermes. Could use some move speed, but we got some prophecies to fulfill with the Dayless Hammer. Got me with a triple shot. Cheese level? Mozzarella. Minorly cheese. You know, mozzarella is like one of the weirder of the, the cheeses, I suppose. Not a cheese aficionado, so I don't really have much room to say, but it reminds me of tofu. And if I've learned anything from like this one lady that I watched with my friend, uh, Emmy and Made in Japan, I think, or Emmy in Japan or Made in Japan. Apologies, I'm not probably like quoting her YouTube channel correctly, but I watched her make like tofu and some mozzarella. The girl's pretty entertaining. Like, I do like what she puts out there as far as like a cooking YouTube thing goes. When it comes to cooking YouTube channels, it, it can be a dime a dozen. You definitely sell it on the personality. <clears throat> so my voice cracks here because I'm 12 years old. Emmy's got it though. Emmy's got it. I'll be honest, I definitely spend more time watching your MRE videos. MRE eating videos. Let's enunciate the words there. Than most of her other stuff. But, you know, most my stuff she does there is pretty good. Uh, bigger volley? I don't think so. Your attack fires two shots side by side, but has a reduced range. Your attack fires three shots in a spread pattern. All right, so we can get like really up in the up in the uh, up in that grill, I should say. What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something else that was gonna be really crude. I'll get some bonus damage there. Zeus wouldn't mind some sort of a uh, chain lightning effect on anything. Ah, fuck. Return to battle me for glory, short. Your jump attack. I need you to come out from behind that. Excellent. Load him up, load him up. And look look at the beam tracking damage. It's insane. It's so good. Using the pillar damage for a little bit of extra mustard there. Also quite nice. You know, he's gonna cheat with his super boss armor. Less nice. Load him. Artemis cast him. He hit me. I was going for the perfect fight. You got me, bud. And that's it. That's all she wrote. That's a good telltale sign for the future fight. Your revenge effect sometimes occurs without taking damage. That's that's good. That's insanely good given, you know, you have to take damage to make it happen. Auto revenge, 3.5 seconds. I like it. For faster god gauge... I think you're leaving it. I, I like the duels a little bit more than the other qualities. I can't tell if the duel has like a rarity quality to it outside of just being a fusion, huh? Yep. Playing that one a little close to our chest. Didn't want to risk the damage. Oh, fuck. Uh, Alright. I'll take the L there. I'm not, I'm not pleased with it. I was doing my best to get out of that one. Okay, beam you. We'll take care of you first. The four percent crit runes I have, dude, it's going in. It's going in. We saw that crit. One ninety-five. It's the crit chance, dude. Legendary crit chance. Oh. Okay, someone's trying to target me. Ooh. Okay. Triple shot actually came in handy there to scatter off two of those instantly. Thank you. I was gonna say I've been turning my nose up to max HP on this run. I appreciate the gift. What's on the offer? Uh, I think we say no to all of that. Another Zeus boon, dude. I got money to spend though, but yeah, let's do the Zeus boon. Save the money for the later floors. It's not actually not even the end. I thought this was gonna be the last room. What do I have egg on my face? Which is another expression, you know? 
probably from like an era before my time. Never fully got, you know, more American or English idioms, I should say. I.e., oh, good use of our time to learn and teach. Just kidding, it's not. Idioms are stupid. No, I'm sorry, this guy likes idioms! Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I'm too slow, dude! Did you deal with me right now? That hit me? Oh my god, alright, we've lost like a third of our life on this singular room. This. Cheese level? Monetary Jack. We're at a strong Monetary Jack right now. Or mon monetary Jack, monetary, you know what I meant. Not monetary, because that's money. Whatever, I'm just gonna stop talking. I sound like a complete bonobo right now. A complete buffoon, even. Hmm... I don't know about that one. I really don't. I think, I think pomegranate's the choice. Just so I can keep leveling up the cast. Yeah. Oh, and thank god, a free heal. I deserve it. And by that I mean I don't deserve it, but I will take it. We got auto revenge going on, so that's actually gonna be a nice little boost in damage. Oh! Hold the phone. Doing your best Animal Crossing impersonation, because we got a fish. Mm-hmm. See, I think about it. Can anyone in the comments explain to me this whole, like, uh, Israel getting murdered by Tom Nook's death thing? I don't understand it. Sorry, not Tom Nook's death. That's my friend Josh. Tom Nook. I get Tom Nook's like the raccoon who probably puts you in debt. What's this, like, murder thing going on with Isabel? Also, why are people so obsessed with this shit? <laughs> I say it as, like, a, you know, a naysayer because I've never really played an Animal Crossing game, so I might be missing it, and I don't mean to come off as, like, extremely rude or abrasive when I say this shit. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Like, Animal Crossing is something I never played, but I also don't... I don't see the big appeal. Like, I've talked to my friends about it, and they mentioned, like, from the previous games, like, there's this thing with, like, bugs that is, like, all the rage, or not the rage, depending on who I ask. It's not in the end crowd. I want to be, but I think it's too late. It's one of those ships that have already set sail for me. I don't think I have a chance to hop on. And a part of it's probably from like a lack of desire and wanting to hop on, but you know, I'll just uh, play my story up this way so that I sound like I'm, you know, being a little bit more lenient than I actually am. I keep your distance, Jack. Thank you. No, 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 no. We do not. We do not take those in this house. Okay. Thank you for the cast back. I was looking for them. Please, please. Oh, thank God. There should be like one Sunny Jimbo slicer right there. Load him up. And then I'm down. I do mean, like, if you're someone that's excited for Animal Crossing, don't let my, like, pseudo biddish negative uh, attitude <laughs> towards Animal Crossing do anything for you. Definitely have a good time with it. Definitely have, like, the best time possible with it. It's a game not for me. Although I do expect many, many memes to stem from it. Mostly for my friend Josh. You know who keeps me awful busy, cuz? Ares. Nothing like a good old war amongst the mortals to create the man for lots and lots of messages to go around. Wonderful. Um... Sure, I'll take the dash movement speed piece. All right. I'm Barry Allen. I'm the fastest man alive. Except for that other guy. And that other guy. And these guys. It is as the king said. You will not leave Elysium. Except through us. Dude, why are you already like trying to slice me? Why don't you do your dumb range attack instead? There's the ticket. That's the ticket. Cast him. The cast damn, it's so good. Like I'm not I'm not playing it up. It is insanely good. I'm also getting my ass beat. Free chip damage. How about now? The dodge? Okay, like right on top of my thing. Camp in my cast. You know what, we can keep this going for a minute. I was gonna say, I got the speed. Cheeky hit. It's a very cheeky hit. I'm upset that hit me. We're still in the driver's seat here. Can you... What's that? Can you not? Float him up. Nope. 
load him up again. There it is. He's gonna go into his transform phase. Good burst, good burst. He leaves himself open for that one. Mm -hmm. You block it, you load him up, he pillar camps, and then you dust him. Easy peasy, boys. We're already on sticks. I'm calling it this one's a George. We're hitting our stride. We may not be hitting our stride on the bits today, the dialogue, the banter. We're hitting our stride in raw gameplay. And if sometimes that's what you want to see, sometimes, if that's what you want to see, how could you? Glad to hear it. Definitely work on getting some actual like pieces going though for the future. Uh, I don't want any of this. You can uh, you can keep it. So we got close. 516 gold going into this room. 516. I need to save up for like the $1,000 purchase for like the diamond. Okay, grab the money. Oh, grab all money. No, 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 no. No more money. Ooh. Those are some offers. Fishing time then. I think I'm gonna buy the pomegranate to start us off. Even at the slightest chance of getting more beam damage, that, that pleases me a great deal. All of this is good though. Like I want it all. Maybe not the heart. There. Scuffa. Scuffa. Scuff, bro. Well grab that. 18. They must have lots Love of it. It could buy the Aries right now. Don't think that's going to help me out too much. And there she is. Try this way. Another opportunity with Artemis. So we're hoping for like max cast. That's one of the big ones we're looking for. And if not max cast, we're looking for the damage gives us extra, you know, procs for like a, a free heat seeking missile over 14. You know the one. Okay. Like, you know, I was trying to react, but small brained it. No, 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 don't hold still. We've been in this position before. Just because you think you got him staggered doesn't mean he's not going to attack. You get like an iframe or two after a certain amount of attacks. Don't be the clown this time around. And you crush him. And you send him. Grab that money first. Okay. Free enemy. I need to sneak around and grab my cast. Ooh, sha la la. Right. Stagger him down. Clear out the trash. And your Gul'dan. Mm. Almost Gul'dan. Gul'dan enough. There it is. That's exactly what I was looking for. Although they gave me the option to get like a dual shot on my cast. So like, maybe we'll see it for a third time and it'll work out. Hopefully. Hit you with an audible poggers if it does happen. All right, pomegranate is next on the list. Dude, watch them melt. <laughs> That's beautiful. It's been a minute since I had this cast built as well. I like it. I always like it. Anything that lets me turn my brain off for gameplay, send it my way. Okay, let's not get cheeky stabbed. Good, no cheek stab. Send them. Pomegranate's calling to me. Get absolutely crushed. Room's good. Hang on, I see you there. Tried to hide it from me. Glint of oh. storage chamber. We're already here. Now mm. Cerberus. 19 damage a second. Love gift. to see it. I can't. Buy that Artemis boon and maybe we'll just leave. <gasps> Artemis guide my hand. Oh my god. It's fucking there Christmas goes. boys. This run is extremely good. Like, extremely good. 
And the money keeps flowing in. We'll be able to buy the whole shop. Not really. Okay. Get out of that. Very good. Send them. One damage? Acceptable. You recover that instantly. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. And that was the boss, boys. That was the boss. Ladies and gentlemen, he's done it. You do effects deal more damage when applied multiple times. Hell yeah, dude. And that's another prophecy fulfilled. For, for, fulfilled. Fulfilled. Let's say, don't, don't laugh at me from like my, my amazing English, but like all at the same time, do laugh at me. Oh, Jesus. I nearly walked right into the freaking Beyblade. Grab the gold and send it. Very good. What's for sale? Uh, it's gonna upgrade the next boon I'm getting, which is fine because we're already low on money as is. Send him again. This room is free. It's free, 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 free. CreditReport.com needs to, uh, you uh, know, that's not credit report. That's TurboTax. They need to update their freaking their ads. The commercials on Twitch put me to sleep. By the way, if you're American, it's a uh, tax season. Make sure you do your taxes. I'm sure it's like that internationally as well, to like some extent. But like I only know like our tax filing time, so. Okay. Uh, do your taxes. Don't get in trouble with the government. It's in your best interest. <laughs> so you're still waiting on documents? Understood. But if you're not waiting on documents, you're being lazy. Remember what I said about, you know, not sitting on your ass playing video games and doing other things that are productive? Now's your chance, boys. Go do those taxes. Also, amazing casts right now. Uh, right into the wall. Good shit. When you have no cast, take 10% less damage. Whenever you cast, inflict chill on nearby foes. Your special is stronger and inflicts... And we're not even touching that button. Give me that Ravenous Will. It's going to amp up our damage as a whole. I think we're good. We don't really need that extra max HP. Maybe you say miss me with that. Doom effects deal more damage. Dude. Perfectly rounded build. Q, that's about as bad as it gets, but everything else, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Anywhere 47 minutes. This one actually flew by. Holy hell. <laughs> We're crushing it. Now commence this ugly business yet again. Doom, da -ga -doom, da -ga -doom. So we're not gonna burn our cast immediately because I know he likes to do some uh, marky mark and the funky bunch stuff. All right, good hit, I suppose. I do want to crush her, like, instantly. I do not want to deal with a big deuce. Big deuce, then. <laughs> big deuce. I, I realized as soon as I said, like, the shorthand there is probably not going to be... Uh, it's not going to work out for me. All right. We're going to have some problems here, because he's casting, like, a billion of these right now. Fantastic. Some of the greatest casts I've ever seen. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna have some trouble. Explosion man's coming out. Dude, he's just spamming these out. What's the deal? Is it because I'm spamming the cast myself? Come on, brother.
Look at him melt. Oh my god. More of that. It's still under control. We got a little dicey there. I think he's done. If he keeps doing that attack, he's done. Oh my god. What a fight. Whatever, get sent, bud. Fair. All right. Well, that was that was easy. We only got the railgun left. I think we gotta beat that. Actually, no. I think we beat that on heat level zero. So that'll do it. And is that my first victory with the bow? Oh my god, it's a new streak. Third, 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 three. Dude, I'm gonna lay down. I feel like I've been having a stroke this entire video just trying to speak. I'm also gonna get something to eat because I wasn't lying when I said I have not eaten today. Uh, yeah. Prophecy fulfilled. We've done it all. As always, thank you everybody for watching. was all but certain a fissure opens underneath the feet of the ill-fated prince, and from it vents a cloud of superheated water vapor. Steam, as it is known. Huh. And probably Get it? you know what happens next. Get it? It oh, steam? No. Even though this game came out in the Epic Game Store? Right Alright. Enjoy the mess, the mess, the rest of your morning, evening, etc. Whenever it is, everybody. I'm gonna go eat something, and I will catch you all on the next one. Take it easy, everybody.